Hello, it's Neil Ball, your online marketing coach from www.workwithneilball.com. In this training, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an RSS feed for Twitter. Um, recently, Twitter have just switched off their API for the RSS feed, which a lot of people have been using. And because of that, a lot of people are trying to find out how to create an RSS feed. It can still be done, but it's just a little bit more complicated. So first of all, I'm, I'm going to show you um, that it does work. So this is my website, and if I just scroll down here, I've actually put my RSS feed in the sidebar here. So um, my Twitter handle is Neil D Ball, and this is my Twitter feed using the the information I'm about to give to you here. So. Um, so how do you go about creating this? So the first thing that you need to do is create a Twitter app. To do that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what you need to do is you need to go to this URL, um, which will be on. Uh, this will actually be posted on my website. Um, you need to sign in with your Twitter account, and then you need to go to My Applications, and you need to go Create New Application which will bring you onto a screen here. Once you're on this screen, what you need to do is you need to give your app a name. So I'm going to call mine, I've already created one, so I'm, I'm just going to call it Twitter RSS Test. And the description, you can call it anything you like. You can put anything you like um, as, the, as the URL, but I'll just put my my domain name there and and then the callback URL you actually need to use um, you need to use this this URL here like that and you then scroll down here and click yes I agree you then need to enter the capture code scroll down and then create Twitter app oh it's just come up with a warning saying I can't give the name with it and include the name Twitter in it so that doesn't matter I'll just get rid of that so there we are RSS test so create Okay, it doesn't like that. It's just come up with another warning saying RSS test has already been taken for a name. So obviously um, it has to be a unique name for the app. So I'll put a dash in there and see if that does it. Create your Twitter app. Right, and it now says your application has been successfully created. Please take some time to update its settings. So once you've done that, there are a few there's a few bits of information that you're going to need on here um, and in fact whilst I'm on here just for future reference if you ever need to get back at if you wonder what happens to this um, after you've created it if you come back into the URL which you came into in the first place which is dev.twitter.com um, if you go to my applications you'll actually see it when you actually click on there you'll actually see your apps that you've created listed there so Anyway, here it is. Now, the, there's a couple of bits of information that we're going to need on here. We're going to need the consumer key, which is this one here. Oops, there. And you're going to need consumer secret as well, um, which we'll come back to in a minute. The next thing that you need to do is to click the Create My Access Token button here. like that. The next step is to configure your Google script. Now you'll need a Google account for this so if you haven't got one you'll need to set one up and if you have got one you'll need to log into it and once once you're logged into it you need to go to this URL which I will also make available on my website and then once the page is loaded, 
you then need to go script as web app and I've got some code you need to put in here so the first thing you can do is clear off the code that's in here so if you just highlight everything and remove it um, then the next thing you'll need to do is um, there's some code on my website which you'll need to copy and paste because you won't be able to see all of it here um, and there's quite a lot of it so it wouldn't be advisable to try and type it in and so you need to put that in there I then rename this um, so I'm, I'm going to call this Twitter RSS test and click OK and it'll come up with another box which I'll then call Twitter RSS test and click OK and the next thing you need to do is you need to put some information in here um, this sheet that's on my website has my Twitter RSS information built into it um, you will need to put yours in otherwise you'll see my Twitter RSS feed so to do that what you need to do is go back to the Twitter developer site and go back to the app that you created and you need to go to the consumer key here highlight that make sure you don't highlight any more or any less than all of it and copy that and then come back into here and you need to paste it here because you'll have a different number to mine and paste it there and then you need to go back here and you need to get the consumer secret key which is this one here and again make sure you only highlight what you need and then you need to put that in there like that and then if you scroll down you'll also note that it's currently set up to work with my Twitter handle and what you need to do is you need to put your Twitter handle or your Twitter ID in place of mine um, in each of these positions so that you will then see an RSS feed with your information in. if you want to see my information in there then that's great just leave it as it is um, the other thing is if you follow me on Twitter I will follow you back as well so once you've done all that you need to go to file save and the next thing to do is to go to publish and go deploy as web app and then you need to change the authorization of who can have access to the app by selecting this drop down here and go into anyone even anonymous and then go to here and say save new version and then click deploy whoops click deploy now this here is actually the this will be your RSS feed um, once this is completed so it might be worth taking a copy of that at this stage so that you're not sort of searching around for it later on so I've copied that onto notepad so click OK the next thing you need to do is go to run and start and it will come up with this authorization required screen which is just getting your authorization to run it really so you can say authorize and now you can run the script as it says there so close that and then you need to go back to run again and go start and what it'll do this time is it will now get authorization from once you click authorize it will go to Twitter and get authorization from Twitter to um, authorize the app so it comes up here and this is on my account so I'm going to say authorize app so I'll click that and just wait for it to come back and that is it so if we now get the um, the URL from before and we paste it in here like that you can now see that there is an RSS feed of my um, my Twitter my Twitter my tweets on Twitter so everything that I've tweeted recently is all showing here you can get the code 
and, and, and all the URLs that I've used to create the RSS feed on my website at www.workwithneilball.com forward slash twitter dash rss dash feed to get free tips and information on online marketing and making money online go to my website and enter your email address into the opt-in form also for more information about how i coach and how i train and the other things that i do for my team go to my website which is www.workwithneilball.com again that's www.workwithneilball.com until next time goodbye